<laughs> Coach Del Porto, uh, Eastern Michigan Open is in the books. One yeah. champ, three finalists. Thought yeah. you guys performed pretty well. Salzer couldn't quite uh, avenge his brother's state final loss against Dimas, but yeah. he went after it. They scrambled. It was an exciting match. But uh, French. France. Ooh, France. What's he, going on with this guy? He's not French. <laughs> Listen. What's going on? Lester France. Yeah. Two-time state champ from Michigan. Uh, he's always been good. It's just he's never believed in himself. And he said to himself, Screw it, man. I'm a senior. I'm going to go out and wrestle. I thought he did great. He's, he's silky, man. I mean, you saw a couple ducks. Well, got, I think he's got a dirty takedown of the week. Oh, it's awesome. On man. the edge of the mat there. Listen, he, he, uh, I was rolling around with him last year. He busted my, he did that move, but I didn't react because I'm slow. And <laughs> 12 stitches. Uh, no, he, he did a great job today. He, he fought all, all he could. Um, he's good, man. He's always been good. Now I just hope this gets a little fire under his rear and he gets going. But, uh, and then Aaron, you know, Aaron will be fine. Aaron, uh, he's a super tough kid. He's gonna learn from his loss. He learns from every loss and he gets better at it. And so that's all we can ask of that. Salzer will wrestle him again. And I mean, you know, if things go right, hopefully we beat him. The other finalist, Jermaine. Jermaine, he's a stud, all right? And so is Bedlian. I mean, that's, that's probably as good as I've seen Nick wrestle since NCAAs when he was All-American. Because last year I felt like you know Nick was down a little bit, but that was great. I went up to him afterward. I was like, dude, you look good. Good job. And Jared, hey man, last time they wrestled, uh, it was close in the duel. They, we're going to wrestle Ken again two more times, so that's going to be a great match throughout the year. We wrestle him in the duel and then, of course, at the MAC Championships. Jermaine's jumped all over him the last two times they've wrestled. I mean, not jump, the really jumped all over him in the duel. Like I think he had like a four or five point lead in the duel. And then tonight, six one. Yeah, six one. So a five point lead. And then tonight he jumps on him, and, and he's kind of dominating early on. What do you got to do? What's Jermaine got to do to, to believe and get over the hump and beat an All-American and, and get to uh, St. Louis? Yeah. Uh, well, you saw, and credit again to Nick, you saw Nick was down. How many attempts did Nick take? I mean, six, seven, eight, nine attempts in a row at that pick, 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 pick. And, and Nick's a great scrambler, and so is Jared. Um, but we just ended up on the bottom half of that scramble. I thought Jared did great. Jared pushes the pace. He's, he's conditioned as anybody. He runs a sub five minute mile. Um, you know, I, I feel great. He's a redshirt sophomore. He hurt himself last year. So we got plenty of time with Jared. Jared will bounce back. He's going to be great. Uh, looking forward to for, for his career as well. Those guys tonight that made the finals tonight, they have put themselves in a good position with, uh, you know, their winning percentage, mm -hmm. beating some good guys. Obviously, yeah. I mean, 165, it's it's his not to make the NCAA tournament right now. Right, yeah. I mean, look at the wins he got. Garcia, I think Garcia's ranked as high as six in some of the polls I see. And, and you know, he beat Purdue's guy, he beats Mosier. I mean, yeah. he's right there. What do you ultimately want to get? How do you got to get the other three to four guys to qualify for the tournament besides those three? How do you do that? We need everybody else in the Mid-American Conference to do well so that there's tons of slots. And then we go and we battle for it at the max. As far as our, our pace, we're just gonna keep getting better every week. We're gonna peak at the right time. We're gonna rest our guys this year. We're gonna play it smart. We actually did a, a great job with our scheduling as far as events of competition. We're basically t taking the whole month of December off of competition. We wrestle Ohio U December 4th, and then we don't compete again until Midlands. So we're gonna have 25 days off of competition, kind of split the season a little bit. So um, that's, that's what we're gonna do as far as that training. Uh, other than that, we're just gonna stick to what we've been doing. I think we're getting better. I really do. All right, you got anything else for me? Yeah, we also had a freshman sophomore champ from Ohio, Vinny Pizzuto. Uh, so we got to give a shout Jackson out to Jackson Milton. Jackson Milton, boy. Um, Lake Milton. You got it, man. He's done a great job. Uh, he had a tough cut down to 25. He was struggling a little bit during the week, and it made it all worth it. And he, he ended up winning the tournament. And then uh, we had a couple other placers in the freshman sophomore. And then our heavyweight, he ended up taking six. He had two tough losses to some good kids. But, you know, he beat the kid from Arizona State who was an All-American last year. Um, and I feel good about it. And our 74 pounder took fourth, and he beat some pretty good kids. He beat Eric Stark from Arizona State in the quarters, I believe. Um, ended up beating uh, Brandon Johnson uh, at the end there to get in the Constellation final. So overall, we had a great day. And then this is a great day for Eastern Michigan wrestling. We had 500 athletes here, 2,000, well, maybe I think 2,500 fans. This is, this is a good, besides it being, what, 9 o'clock, it's a good day. All right, hey, thanks for the time. Thanks for the guest commentary. Yeah, good, and I'm going to catch you down the road, all right? All right, listen, I, I already trademarked that pile of ropes comment. <laughs> Don't steal that from me, man.